Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be installing this unit sent to me by Sunbird Hair. So if you wanna do it. Ooh. Almost positive this is a closure. Um in the little lunchroom hairnets per usual schmusual. Then we've got the little paper situation. This hair feels really nice. Off rip. This feels really nice. Um, basic cap construction, um, well, I guess not basic. It has this little thing. Is this the type that has the lace under? Um, we're going to cut it open like we did in the last video because in the last video, I was able to get under there a little bit with the lace. Um, so I guess we're going to try it in this one too because they're all different. They're all doing them differently. Hopefully this is one that I can get some of those knots in because I just hate the way that you have to keep the regular knots with these things now. So we're gonna give that a try. Um, really though, this hair is really nice. Like this, this hair definitely slaps. But we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. Grab our little scissors. Let's do our little cut. Let's see if this is one of the ones that you can cut and get to the knots. Yup, it is period so this is the one of those units where you can get to the to the knots underneath if you cut this off so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i was talking to another company about it um and basically they said this is supposed to be like for comfort but i would rather be uncomfortable i'm not gonna lie to y'all i just am not a fan at all i feel like bleached knots are a really big part of making units look natural and if I can't do that, I'm not feeling them. I'm just not, it's just not hitting. It's just not giving, you know? So I'm just gonna snip this right off because I don't like it. I wanna be able to get to them knots. I'm trying to cut it completely off. Yeah, once you get like the little clear string that just wraps around it, you, you got it basically. I just don't wanna pull too hard and like pull some hair out or something. Oh, okay. So I got it off. So now we're going to put this on the wig head. Get all the hair back so that I don't bleach any hair. We all know I'm a little too loose with the hands and I end up bleaching everything but the knots. That's just me. So we're just going to push all that back so that all the hair is as far back as possible. So I use the 40 developer by Superstar. I always use 40. I don't know the difference between 40 and any other one. So I just be using 40 because that's what I've been using for years. Then I got this big giant BW powder. Um, this is what I use. Little bowl, little, you know. So what I do, I do not measure out anything at all. I've gotten to the point where I'm so lazy, I don't even use gloves anymore. I literally just get whatever I can get from here dump it in this bowl and I'm only using so fair warning I'm also only using so much because I have a few units to bleach today so I'm just trying to make one bleach mixture for all of them um I really eyeball everything I definitely think I used way too much developer just now um we'll see in a second swirl it around slowly so I don't get powder everywhere because I literally always get powder everywhere I stir mine up, oh, you can't even see. I stir mine up really slowly, just so I don't get the pot all over my floor. I hate picking it up, I hate touching it. Yeah, so she's a little too liquidy, so I'm about to add a little more powder to it. Um, yeah, this is too, too wet. So this is the amount, of, this is the amount of powder I grabbed. I'm just gonna test that out. I think this is much better. I don't know, I don't know if you can make a bleach mixture too dry, but look, it looked good to me. So I'm just gonna zoom in, give y'all a good little close up of what we're doing. Okay. So I have the mixture all, all stirred up and I'm just gonna dab that on. I'm only gonna focus it on the middle because that's all that you're really gonna see, the middle and like the front. Because I learned my lesson last time that it was stupid to bleach this whole thing because it's a closure like you're not even gonna see all that so literally doesn't matter i mean i guess i can still do it because i don't want to waste bleach and i think this is more than enough for what i'm doing today 
So I think I'll still do it just for that simple fact, but you don't need to bleach over here. Like it's not a necessity like at all with a closure. Okay, so I think that's good. Um, I want to say that that's a good... Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and let that sit for about 20 minutes, and then I'll be back to show you all the end results. Okay, so this is what it looks like after I bleached the knots. Definitely over-bleached per usual. Are we surprised? Not even a tad sliver of a tiny bit. Um, this is me just kind of taking a look at what the roots look like. I wonder if I took like a honey brown dye if I was able to like fix the over-processing. Over because I feel like all my highlight wigs all tend to look the same when I over-process them. Um, it's definitely bearable though. Nothing that bothers me like nearly enough to where I feel like I need to do that. But if you guys would like me to do that like for experimental purposes, let me know and I'm, I'm down to do that. I'm down to experiment a lot with these wigs, you guys. Just tell me what you want to see and I'll try to figure out how to do it. Um, yeah, so this is literally just me detangling it um, after a while. Right on cue. Detangling it right after washing. Um, nothing too special. Literally just showing you guys freshly after washing the bleach knots off. That's about it. Okay, so once you have your wig cap on, what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do is make sure the wig cap is the color of your head because I used to do this all the time and never tint my wig cap and wonder why you could see that my wig cap was so much lighter under my wig. Ridiculous. You don't have to do it too far back. I just normally do it along the areas that I'm, that I think I'm gonna sh my part will show in. So like if I do a middle part just in case, but this is a closure, so I really only need you to do the middle. I'm gonna move the I'm gonna move the camera over so y'all can see closer up. This is what we're looking like fresh on the head. First thing we're gonna do is cut the lace. So let's just get right to it as close as possible. Cut it right on off. Yep. Okay, sorry. I wanted to change my LED lights. I feel like pink makes it look weird. So now I'm just gonna center it and put it down where I want it. Okay. Now I'm just gonna do my normal free spray method. Spray just a tad in the spot I want it. See, it already shifted up. Chill, dude. Okay, hold it right here. I know you guys miss my singing so much, so I thought I would just sing to you a little bit. Um. Mary had a little lamb. She had a little lamb. I'm holding that octave. What's that called? Is it? What's an octave? Maybe I should Google what that means before. I say it on camera. Okay, that's all the singing y'all get. Bye. So I'm gonna try putting just a few curls in this. So I'm gonna plug in my curling iron. This, this, oh, do I be scared of shit? And I'm not head feeling tense. I squinted a little too hard. My wig said, Err! and make sure you get any hair. Then I comb normally. What we're gonna do is mousse it and tweeze it a little bit. Cause it's, it's looking bulky to me it's looking it's giving thickness and you don't want thickness at the top of your wig you just don't that's not the goal here is to have the top of the wig looking thick 
so basically what i ended up doing was i lost a lot of footage because i got a new laptop guys and i literally am so confused on how to use a macbook i have no clue what i'm doing in the slightest of a like i have no idea what i'm doing so i'm over here trying to edit with final cut pro struggling losing clips losing footage transferring through iclouds and all that stuff i'm a mess right now so i know that that was a jump from me putting mousse to me curling the hair but basically all i did was use a lot of body to flatten the hair i did not use a hot comb in this video today uh, y'all already know i was way too lazy to plug that thing in so i didn't um i just it, it laid pretty flat all on its own so i just ran with it then this is me just showing y'all like what the curls looked like i basically just curled all of them with my curling wand i've definitely um gravitated back into using a curling wand versus um using my straightener it's obviously just made for that purpose so i figured you know i did pay for it might as well use it for what i paid for it to do so basically i curl them up pin them with these little amazon clips i get and just let them sit for a while so that they don't brush right out like they always do when i curl my hair so that i didn't do that for no reason so yeah um i actually think i'm gonna stop curling wigs like this and leaving them long i think i'm gonna start doing layers so yeah this is really just about what it is y'all are just gonna watch me curl my hair and yep that's that's what that's gonna be that's what oh oh so this is just me brushing them out um this is my favorite part <laughs> favorite part this is the best part i don't know it's like therapeutic to me just to watch all my hard work turn into beautiful fluffy curls sometimes i have to go back over at the end and um, y'all could probably hear me scratching my leg i'm so it's like 6 a.m i need to get it together but anyways um i have to recurl like the end sometimes because it's like they didn't catch i guess or like they like don't clip in probably i don't know I'm, i literally always mess hair up i wouldn't be surprised if i did something wrong like ever at any point in time so there's that um but yeah um that's all i'm doing right here is just literally adding those like end curls because they probably were straight because i don't do things properly but this is what it ended up looking like i was actually really happy with it the curls came out fire like they looked so good i was very happy with how it looked this was the end result um i'm still learning how girls do that little flip out so that the so that they, it does like that cute flip that hit cute hair flip at the end mine don't do that but thank you so much for watching